The Theory of Light by Sapiwe and Lovu. Plot Summary Part 5 Revelations So this chapter is from the survivor's perspective and we see that everyone is at the Beaufort Farm and Estate to identify Jeannie's body but Beatrice only seems to recognise the farm as home when she sees the sunflowers as she doesn't recognise the buildings and how everything has changed. Goliath initially doesn't recognise Vida because he thinks that he's a white man, but eventually recognises him as Jesus and says that Jeannie is the reason that the survivors are at Beaufort and that when they got there, only the veterans were there. Goliath's wife then speculates that the reason that most of the people are no longer on Beaufort was because of the HIV pandemic. Justina then realises that it was the soldiers that brought HIV. They had raped her and Mrs. Hadebe, and now she believes that they had raped Jeannie too. So now they go into the cold storage unit, and there lies Jeannie's body, and the people who found her knew it was Galide's daughter as soon as they saw her. They said she must have still been alive when she got there, as she buried her feet in the soil of the sunflowers. Marcus tries to imagine life if his parents hadn't taken him away, but he then realises that he would have not had a life, or much of a life, if he was not taken to America by his parents, and that Jeannie let go of him long ago. Then, from Jeannie's perspective, we see her death. Jeannie flies away on a giant pair of silver wings and leaves her heart behind to calcify into the most precious and beautiful something that the world has ever seen. The survivors watch Jeannie's ascent, and Jeannie experiences love as the release of a promise long held. The man himself offers Valentine a congratulations for pulling it off, and that he knows that Imogen put him up to this. He says Valentine will likely lose his job, and asks him if it was worth it. He says it was because Jeannie was someone who had a life that mattered. The man himself tells him that he went after Golide because a man like him does not let a man like Golide build an aeroplane because power is a very delicate thing. So we see again that, that that's his fear of people being able to believe and do the impossible. He refuses to tell Valentine what he actually did with Golide and Elizabeth. So we find out now that he is the reason for their disappearance. Valentine says the survivors own Beaufort, and they will decide what to do with the precious and beautiful somethings. But this makes the man himself confused, as he could not understand Valentine, because he would have also benefited from the precious something on the farm. But Valentine said that he completely understands who the man himself is. Then in the final chapter, The Real Revolutionaries, this is where Jeannie's funeral occurs and the undertaker, Mr. Mendelssohn, is telling Vida how the undertaking business has changed since the 60s. He went from doing one to two funerals a week on his own to 20 to 30 funerals a week during the war with an assistant. Eventually, he had over 20 employees working for him as if this was a factory because of the HIV pandemic. At the funeral, Vida removes Jeannie's suitcase from the coffin because he's not entirely ready to let go. He keeps the suitcase and also hands the glasses to David, who is one of the other street dwellers. As the coffin is buried, Marcus finally believes that they have let go of Jeannie and starts to wonder if she ever actually belonged to them. He leads the funeral procession out of the cemetery and he suddenly feels that there's a place he must go. He changes course and they all follow him. They arrive at Victoria Falls at dawn, and there's a tourist standing. That turns out to be Xander Dangerfield, and Crystal goes over to him. He said that he thought he would see what was on the postcard for himself, and Crystal leads him back to the group. They watch as a herd of elephants appear on one side of the Zimbezi River, just above the falls. The bull trumpets and dives in, and the rest of the elephants follow. The group experiences the same emotions as Gulide and Jeannie did, and understand that in the grand scheme of things, they are but a speck, a tiny speck, and that is enough. Above their heads, an aeroplane flies, and the silver wings flash. 
and this alludes to the whole concept and idea of the story. Thank you.